Morning folks. <coughs> Pulled out of just a clump of cottagey type Kent buildings. A uh, an oast house which was used in the 19th, 18th, 19th centuries for for drying hops uh, to go in beers. They were they were hung in strings from the from this top, and they would air dry. And the top, the little cowl here that was adjustable to to take the uh, the prevailing wind. Uh, I believe. I just love the end product because I know what those hops do. I've been watching my my Facebook pal Tony White. And he's just uploaded another video. I'll, I'll put a link on it in, in my comment on on this this one. Uh, he's a, a, an Australian artist and is a fantastic uh, impressionist, uh, confident painter of great experience. And he tackles anything. Uh, I would advise, I would recommend highly that you look at him. You'll learn a lot from him. And copy his work but don't emulate his style. He, style comes after years and years of, of practice. Something is your handwriting. Uh, you can copy the styles of other artists but eventually you learn your own handwriting. Uh, so that's Tony. He's just done one of the mill, in, uh, Callington Mill in Australia. I, I don't have a clue where that is. I've never been there. Uh, but I know one of my, some of my subscribers, like uh, Gigazar, he, he comes from from uh, Australia. So here we've got a, just a, like a farmhouse, and just a couple of outbuildings, and just a collection. I, I don't know what I'm going to make of it. I'm waiting for some new paper that Alan Owen and Smoothie 77 are, are recommending. thought I'd get in quick before the advert will sell it all out. It's a £90 paper which is much lighter than the 130 Fabriano. But uh, when Alan Owen recommends something, it's got to be worth listening to. And it's not expensive. It, it, it probably pound for pound in weight. It's, it's uh, more expensive than the uh, this Fabriano, but it's a, it's a rough paper. So I've ordered a couple of packs of 20 sheets and we'll see how we get on uh, with it. I've still got a load of Fabriano, I've got about 60 sheets of Fabriano left. So, uh, <clears throat> so don't forget guys, if you want to contribute to the, the cost of all this, very, very cheap, uh, subscribe to, to my Patreon channel. It's uh, not a life thing, it's just a one-off or it's, you can contribute every month, $4, price of a cup of coffee, one month. I get about 50 or 60 of my videos that nobody else can see. Mind you, you might not think they're worth it. <coughs> However, I'll use the hake for just laying in the, the water, wetting wet. <coughs> just let it soak away for a few seconds. I think I've overdone it, but just, just, just squeeze the brush, squeeze the excess water out. The paper will expand, so we can. Uh, Just let it expand and then, then we can reclip it. But while it's in that state, so I'll put a bit of a background colour, bit of yellow, bit of my usual, bit of yellow. I like the cadmium yellow in, in there as well with the oops, with the raw sienna. It's got all over it. And we can put a bit of red in there. I'm not going to do a village pond or anything. And we'll. Uh, Put a little bit of blue in, so quite a cheery picture, and then we'll get some alizarin and paint grey. Paint grey is uh, quite a strong colour, but the viridian, uh, the alizarin isn't. It's quite a Quite hard to, to loosen it up, really. So let's just a 
Boards are about 30, 25 degrees, something like that. Okay, we'll just see what happens to that. Okay. It's a bit nippy today in London. It's uh, like this morning was about, uh, oh, about nine degrees. Quite cold for this time of year. Last year we had a heat wave. Right, okay. I'll uh, just have a swig of tea. Yeah, I'm looking forward to receiving this paper. Right, just re just gently pull it. Well, you don't have to be gentle. Just so it doesn't pull out the other side. This is qu quite tough. The 90 pound paper is 100% um, is, is rag, so that's going to be good. All right, okay, so um, oh, I'm going to just let that dry off a sec. I'll, I'll give that a bit of a bit of a help, I think. So take your headphones off. Ooh, what? Mute your sound. Ow. Don't want it bone dry. And I'm going to use my number six uh, goat hair wash brush, high quality, Pro Art Renaissance mop. Then they're not that expensive, but they're not cheap. But this one's a good. This this one, the hairs in it, the goat hair, is a little bit stiffer than the one in this one. This is a squirrel mop, as is this is Sabi number six. And then, I reckon number six is more than number six. Can't see anymore. It's worn off. Uh, highest quality pure squirrel. But this is just a little bit uh, softer than that one. But they're lovely brushes. But yeah. right. So let's put in a bit of background. So a bit of bit of Payne's grey and a little bit of bit of blue over there. Just a bit of Kent's countryside there. Put a bit of a bit of Orsian in. Okay, let's just draw around there. Okay. I'll put some trees and bushes in front of it. Whoops, drop me brush. Okay, so let's put in the uh, the oast house. Now I'm going to wet it first. Just the body of it. The, these are bricks. And they... Uh, a bit, bit of burnt umber. And a bit of paint grey. Just to darken one side. We're putting a bit of burnt sienna now. Some nice bricks. It's hard for me to hold the brush because of the, my wrists are quite hurt a bit. Okay, and a bit more paint's grey and umber. i just get a little bit on that edge to show the cylindrical quality of of that. That will do. Right, now some burnt umber on here, we'll have darker burnt umber there. So just just the light a bit here coming up this chimney. Can put other colours in as we go. I'm just going to leave a margin there. I don't want to drag any paint in. I'm going to put a little bit of darker umber, a bit of blue in there. Just add. 
Alan reckons that the, the new paper does some wonderful things, even though it might buckle a bit because it's, it's lightweight. But it blends very well. His latest demonstrations are with it, but it looks fine. Okay. Now, a bit of, bit of, bit of grey, ready grey. For a roof. It's a bit purple, isn't it? That's okay. A little bit. Okay. The Persiana. And a bit, bit of green. A bit of plain grey, a bit of cap yellow. That's on the roof here. Let that blend in and we'll do the roof. Oh, well, we'll, paint, we'll paint the bricks there. Bit of, bit of umber and a bit of, bit of sienna. Bit of brickwork. Well, it's a change to me to using another brush. Got a bit of burnt umber, a bit of sienna, just on with his. Some bricks might be shown through this, or the dirt with from the chimney, soaked through. Okay, that'll do. Now we'll put in the the umber there. Paint's grey in that, I think. We try and leave the windows unpainted, but I'm not going to pay too much attention to the symmetry here. Oh, my head's in the way. Shouldn't be, because I've got the camera above and to the front of my. Put some darker stuff at the base of that, just to ring the changes, just to make a bit of a bit of atmosphere there. And shed, well, we'll have some paint grey and a bit of a bit of umber there. I noticed Tony uses sepia. He was also recommending. These paints, these Cotman student quality. I only, once I'm using that, I, I paid less than three pounds a, a big tube of 21 mil. Well, we can detail there. No time we'll have a bit of dark there. Little wooden sheds, creosoted, which. I'm not paying any attention to great detail on this. I'm just doing it. Somebody suggested I use different a different brush for change. That's what I'm doing. Just forgetting my tea. Right, I'm going to put a bit of a 
Let's see how across the top here. I don't like that colour. I'm going to have a, going to all see under it. Okay, that'll do. Oh, I can put a little bush either side of that to highlight it. It's got, got a nice uh, grey roof, I think. Grey. Nice point. Well, that's dry if I remember. I'm going to put some brick colour in there because that sticks above the roof. And then we'll put a bridge on there as well. But I'll, I've got to do some more work in, in, in the disc. Fabian, I've found, is not that suitable for this type of painting. It's much better wet in wet. Okay, let's uh, let's try now. That cowl would be a very very light grey. Well, which would, would be white actually, but uh, we want it to show up. So go for that a colour. And that would be a, like a something you can, like a long rod that you can move the cow around with. Now let's, uh, I've got to do something with that door. Um, I'll make it dark in there. Do that now, a bit of, but a warm dark. I don't want, just a touch of sienna in that. Same with that one. Leave a bit of white there. Okay, and I can do some highlights with some gouache. Okay, so now, autumn -y trees, so. Detail in that in a minute. I'm going to do a bit of a uh, darkish tree going by the side of a little bit of ribbon, my greens. Just round here. Okay, they just highlights that so we can put some some nice stuff along here. Some hedges. Don't want them all in. And a bit of distant tree. Yeah. There's a bit too much water there. Okay, that'd be right. Uh, 
that needs a bit, a bit more of that sort of colour in there. It's just not sharp enough. Right, I won't ruin that. Uh, okay, let's leave that building alone for a moment. So let's just go across here, re-wet. Uh, nice, nice sort of. Well, okay, just a bit of a road going in there, so I'll put a bit of green. Green, the red. Okay, that'll, that'll do for a moment. Well, as that dries, we can detail into it. I've got to give it a dry now. Uh, tea first. Right. Headphones. I just want to just do those walls there, the edge of the buildings. Um, I'll put that a little bit sort of ready, darky red. Whoa, drop the brush. Clean it. So that's a bit of, bit of red, bit of, bit of little paint grey. Smudge there. I really just want to get that line up there just a bit straighter. That's better. Okay, now a bit of dark under here. Probably won't show very well. Uh, Bit of a cementy colour on the top of this. Bit of bit of darker grey under that. I'll clean it out a little bit. I'll muck that up a bit. I'll let that dry. Okay, now we're going to do some, some detail now with the trees. Don't do it all. A little picture to all the talking. Just, oh. right, just some blue ones.
좀 속이 조이라. 아, 선배. But it's just supposed to the uh, houses, really, just the hors d'oeuvre. The impression there's a lot going on there, but there isn't really. Okay, so I want a bit of dry brush in there now. Let's look at the paper. You can see how flat that does go when you. It's a, it really is a good paper for this sort of work. So it's a bit of bit of bit of umber, bit of grey, bit of sienna. And we'll can't be more obvious than that, can it? Right now, some 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 bushy stuff. I'm not going to put fences in. I'll leave that to my mate Alan. Right, let's just. Of course, all our shadow. Just warm it up, just the foreground. Some of the other side, a second. When this was wet, this area was wet, Fletcher Watson used to get his penknife out and scrape out the uh, few uh, blades of grass. Just all that, just a little bit of detail in there. And we'll do the same on the other side. Roland Hilda was great at this. windows they're bugging me so reflecting the sort of sky well we'll put, put some darker you know, dark darky sort of bluey Just suggestions. Nothing like the curtains. Uh, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. Uh, just give them a little half inch flat. Which seems to have vanished. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <coughs> bit of tissue. I just want to just. I'm going to bit away there. Got a bit carried away. Okay, that'll, that'll do for that. Uh, 
Well, I'll let that dry. Uh, and I might, I think of other things to do, a couple of figures, no doubt. Uh, chimneys, chimneys, uh, burnt sienna. Bit burnt umber on him. On one side. Leave a bit of a gap. So what I like to do as well is put a okay now we've got a bit of a shadow haven't we there and <coughs> assuming the light is coming that way um, Soften that a little bit. And a bit of light catching the top of this here. Right, okay, not much more there. I'll, I'll use it. Um, yeah, I'll use my marker pen here, my, just to give some detail there. Of birds. All connects the sky to the land. We can have a bigger one coming in there. Okay, I'm not going to do much more to that. Oh, figures. Let's get a little figure brush. I like to use my paint box for that. Uh, I had a good clear out there a couple of days ago and I still ate from it. I've got a, a, a nice usable storage loft above this loft room here, which is lovely. We've got a quite a big roof, a big sloping roof. So we've got these, all this space up here where my studio is and ironing, as you know. Um, and a shower room, toilet in the corner there, which you can't see, but it's over there. It's very handy, loads of water, so I don't have to go downstairs for that. Uh, we're very, very fortunate to have that. Okay, so let's have a couple of figures now. The burnt umber, well, there's my old box here. I'm not sure which one's burnt umber now. That one, so just a little, well, the show. So, No, a bit of red. These, these sort of places now are sort of des res. For, well they're beautiful, they change hands at lots of money there. They are really nice. When they're converted they make wonderful homes. Put a little bit of a shadow there, which you might need to be a little bit redder on one side. I'm just going to be catching a bit of light, let it dry it. But I wanted to merge, or the red to merge with the, with the legs. Not necessarily her. Oh, we're chatting to her neighbour, shall we? Mm. 
Look how small. It's grey, look at this. This is my sort of travelling box. I, mean, I bought all those artist quality paints and I've hardly used them. But they last forever. Okay. So the light's coming that way. Okay, so that all adds to the to the interest. Um, what else was I going to do? Nothing really. Uh, no, I can't think of anything else to, to do on that. Uh, right, I think we'll let that go. It's not a bad little picture. Um, chimneys, chimneys, a bit, a bit of umber. Oh yes, I know. Come on in there. Get the uh, get the mop, and we'll put in some shadow. So a bit of blue, a cabal, a bit of light red, which I have here. And we'll. Uh, Shadow onto there. And Show. Okay, right, well that is about oh, all I'm going to do with that. I'll sign it and put it in the mount. We'll have a look at it, see if it's any good. It's going to get published whether it's good or not. Right, no, oh, I know what I was going to do. Yep. Yeah, just a little touch of this now. A bit of, bit of, bit of uh, white. I see Tony White doing this. Tony White using white out the tube. There's a bit of in there. Let's just put a little hair. So we'll have a catch you in a bit of sunlight. Oh, I need a bit of water on there. Still under there. There. Just little bits of flicks. Okay, I think I'm going to let that go. Let's see what you think of that. Uh, let's put that on. Right, 
Fala, meu cara, isso é bom em... De... Ah, não, isso é engraçado em mãos. Isso é um pouco de trabalho, mas é um pouco de trabalho, é um pouco flimsy. Um, the, the camera bounces around the end a bit, uh, around it. <coughs> so I'm, I'm going to zoom out and see if I can do that. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, well, that's, that's it in a mount. <coughs> um, I'm not too unhappy with that. I don't think it's a great picture or anything. But I'm not used to the brushes, as you know. Uh, I can put a bit of a... A little bit of, bit of a midge. In there. So coming down, down pipe, my uh, So I haven't told you to do that. Paper's got to be very dry for, for that to work. Okay, we'll let that go. Thanks for watching. Any questions, ask on, on uh, YouTube. And I'll put a link to Tony White's latest video. Have a look at him, he can teach you a lot. He's very good, I'm learning from him as well. But if you're going to copy, that's fine. But remember that he's got his own style. Alan Owen's got his style. The more you do, the closer you come to having your own paint language. But until that time, it's fine to copy, copy what I do, copy what Alan does. Stephen, you know, we're all there. We're all there. Like a community. So thanks for watching. Uh, see you soon. Bye bye.